Hello and welcome back. In the previous video, we went over this circuit where we were using a sinner to establish a reference and then a non-inverting amplifier to create a series linear voltage regulator with discrete components. Now, the disadvantage of the previous circuit is that operational amplifiers, general purpose operational amplifiers, have a maximum output current, which is generally quite low. How can we improve that? Well, we can use a transistor to amplify that current. So if this was our maximum I.O., and this is now the base current in this transistor, we can amplify the load current beta times by using a transistor. The analysis is the same as in the previous video. I'll do quickly here go over it. So if this is RS, we establish a current that is going to go through the sinner diode, IS, because the current into the operation amplifier is zero. And so we have IS is equal to V input minus the sinner voltage over the resistance. And we choose RS to make sure that IS is biased appropriately. So we establish stiff reference here, B sinner. Okay, so we have a sinner at the non-inverting input, sinner voltage. VC, we are going to have, since we have negative feedback, the voltage at the inverting input is going to be very close to the non-inverting, so we have VC. And with this, if you do the analysis, you find that the output voltage is the output voltage of the non-inverting amplifier. Okay? That means that we can control the voltages. So you can use a low value sinner. And by choosing R1 and R2 appropriately, you can amplify the output voltage. And by having the transistor here to amplify the, the current, we have a current that is the maximum current of the operation amplifier times beta for the dot current. Now, let me just do the analysis here very slowly using the same techniques that we already went over in the videos. Just check them for review on operational amplifier analysis. I have given you a general strategy for operational amplifier analysis, which was you do nodal analysis to one of the terminals. Sum of currents leaving the terminal is equal to zero. Therefore, if we go to the invent inverting terminal, VM for negative inverting, we have the current leaving this way will be VM minus zero over R1. Plus the current going that way will be V N minus V output divided by R2. This is equal to zero since the current entering the operation amplifier is very, very small, zero. If we have negative feedback, and we have, is there a path from the output back to the negative input? Yes. Then the operation amplifier output gets adjusted so that Vn is approximately equal to Vp. And in this case, Vp, we know what it is, Vc. We substitute here Vc over R1 plus Vc over R2 equals, I'm moving this to the other side, V output over R2. And so V output is going to be equal to 1 plus R2 over R1 times Vc. Effectively, what I have done here is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 is times Vc is equal to that. And then when I multiply it through the R2, I did R2 and R2. This gives me the 1. This is the amplification factor that you have there. So again, the trick here is we establish a reference voltage and then we amplify it with an operation amplifier circuit. This is a non-inverting amplifier. We power the operation amplifier with an unregulated input, single supply. So we should choose an operational amplifier with a high power supply rejection ratio. We also can choose an operational amplifier that has a high output current. So we will look high power supply rejection ratio, high output current, and then we further are going to amplify it by adding a 
transistor where the output current of the operation amplifier gets amplified times beta. So a high beta transistor, this can be a power transistor, can have a heat sink here. Okay. We could also use a Darlington pair if we wanted to amplify it um, farther. So we could use here a transistor and another, so we have beta times beta. Okay maximum current. And we will have two diode drops, but the operation amplifier linearizes that. Okay, We have effective negative feedback, which makes this work quite well. Thank you.